The Activate Test of Embodied Cognition is a revolution in how we measure neurocognition. For a generation now, neuroscientists have been moving forward with their understandings of how the brain and the mind work. But neuropsychology and neurocognitive testing has remained far behind, in part because we didn't have the opportunities that are now possible through the application of motion capture technology. The reasons we want to measure embodied cognition is because we believe that a measurement of embodied cognition will be much closer to how people function in everyday life. The comprehensive assessment that ATEC provides includes balance, it includes rhythm and coordination, it includes response inhibition, sustained attention, processing speed, motor movement, and more. As an interim step to creating an automated scoring system, which will be 100% reliable because it will be based on motion capture analysis and algorithms, we needed to create a manual scoring system. Our early results show that the Activate test of embodied cognition produces scores that are very strongly related to the behaviors of children functioning in daily life. One, one of the lovely things about the Activate test of embodied cognition is it doesn't take a great deal of fancy equipment or specialized space to use it. What occurred to me was we that we could things. invite the child Before to participate start, to in a television to game things. show with other children oh. in which there would be a host oh. and that oh. game show would be recorded and the host of that game show would give the instructions. Every child, every time, would get the same instructions. The ATEC system is just a computer and a couple of Kinect cameras set up uh, to capture uh, a couple of views of the child as they're doing the activity. And it needs to be a space large enough for a child to be able to walk 10 spaces paces. So you have uh, a, a, a screen where Eliza is uh, giving the instructions to the child. The, there is a person in the room, a technician, who has a tablet with a GUI interface, a graphic user interface, and he pushes a button on the, on the tablet, and Eliza appears on screen and gives the child the instructions. And perhaps in the instructions, there's also one of the Activate Kids who comes on and demonstrates it. Then that segment ends, and the technician asks if the child understands and makes sure that the child is in the right position and ready to go, and then pushes another button, and Eliza administers the task itself. And when that's over, we move on to the next one. But the great advance will be to be able to have this system fully automated using the motion capture technology and the algorithms created by my colleagues at University of Texas Arlington. What this will mean is that a child can come into the room, participate in the activate test of embodied cognition, and when he walks out of the room, there can be automatic scoring of the, of the behavior that occurred in the room. And this will be done without the need of a person sitting down and laboriously scoring videos. It is with children that we are most eager to have assessments because their brains are the most neuroplastic and therefore we can have interventions which may be most impactful in altering the course of a child's life.